Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Drew Borkin. This is going to be the next video on the women's prelims as we go over the Japan versus China game that ended in a shootout, a two to one finish in a shootout in favor of Team China. Please make sure you subscribe down below or up above on the Easy News widget at the end to help us get to 200 subscribers by the end of January. Really appreciate the love and support from y'all. Couldn't be doing it without you. Really appreciate y'all. But let's get right into it. Um, oh, so you, um. Hoso Yamada was able to wire one in for Japan, top shelf, which is a perfect wrist shot to get past uh, Kimberly Knoll, uh, who you weren't getting anything past her. I don't know why they kept trying to go five-hole Japan the entire game, because nothing was getting through her five-hole, but they were able to wrist one absolutely top shelf there. Uh, China got chances through the first two periods. But they just weren't able to get a goal past Fujimoto. This was a goaltender battle of the ages. There's been very solid 3-1 to one games that have gone fairly down to the wire. But this was obviously the best down to the wire game of the tournament. This one went to a shootout. They didn't get any goals in the first couple rounds of the shootout. <clears throat> and then Hannah Miller, after thinking she scored in overtime, was able to then get a snipe in a shootout to win it for the host country. Uh, t team China and get the win there. Uh, so this was a great overall game played by both squads. It was back and forth. Japan seemed better at getting the puck first, but China just kept battling away. And even if they got it second after losing a faceoff or whatever, they were able to generate chances and never gave in and were able to get it to the shootout. On a play that really obviously Fujimoto playing a great game that I would have to say she played a very solid A-level game, but the reason you might give her a less than that great is that one mistake. You don't want to have to lose the puck like that and have the goal that led to it being um, Maddie Wu getting China's tying goal on a broken play that ends up going off of her pad. She can't corral it and end up covering it, and then that ends up being the goal. That's a mistake there, but overall, it was a fantastic goaltender battle. It went down to the wire, and because of a beautiful shot by Hannah Miller, uh, Team China was able to win this game in a battle of whoever got the two first. Nobody was able to score in overtime. Nobody was able to score in the second period. There was one goal due to a broken play in the third period, and then there was the shootout goal. So obviously these goalies were on point where Kimberly Knoll just was absolutely locked in and couldn't have saved that wrister where Fujimoto, the one play, unfortunately for her, did damn Team Japan in this game. And that's um, that's one of the things to why they weren't able to become victorious. But another thing is they just couldn't beat uh, Kimberly Knoll, which is a huge side of the equation as well. If you can't score more than one goal, you're not going to win many games, and it's all on the goaltender at that point. And Fujimoto made one mistake that in most hockey games people wouldn't be harping on because the other team in her team in Japan should be able to actually get more than just one goal. But they only did get one goal. Team China kept chipping away. The host country had this great mentality, seemed to keep adjusting through each period. They weren't ever the best possession team in this game, continuously being able to hold the puck. But they were able to keep fighting, keep getting chances. Like I said earlier, they got chances in that second period, just couldn't get a goal as Fujimoto was locked in. They get a fortunate play to get the goal, and then they're able to get to a shootout where anything can happen, and they get the dub. So that is how that game one. I hope you enjoyed this recap on Japan versus Team China. Next game up is the next game for USA in the women's prelims. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the Olympics. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget.